Good morning, class family. It's a magnificent Monday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Fall on with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Let's start with the date. April 17th, 2023. Dear class family, today is Monday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we'll review letters and sounds. Next, we'll read and write simple CBC words. Then we will listen to a poem and locate known words. Last, we will research and write to teach others about a topic. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, class family, let's look back and reread the message. Remember, good readers read things again. It's called rereading. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Let's start with this month here. I see a capital A-P-R-I-L. Do you remember what that says? You're right. It does say April. If you remember that, go ahead and kiss your brain. Kiss your hand. Stick it on your head. Notice how there's a capital A to start that month. Each month of the year is special and important. Make sure that it starts the capital letter. Let's reread the date. April 17th, 2023. After the date, let's reread our greeting. Dear class family, after the greeting, I see a punctuation mark. It starts on the line and does a little curve. Do you remember what that's called? You're right. It is a comma. If you remember that, great job. As we are rereading the message, I want you to notice those punctuation marks. Let's review the names of them. Are you ready? Okay. We have comma, period, exclamation mark. Do you remember the other name of it? Also called an exclamation point and question mark. All right, so notice where all those punctuation marks are and in class we'll be able to circle them. After our greeting, I notice a bigger space here to indent. Good writers leave a bigger space to indent or jumpstart their paragraphs. I also see a capital T at the beginning of this sentence. Remember, good writers start sentences with capital letters as well. Let's reread the first telling sentence. Today is Monday. It is Monday, and it's a magnificent Monday. Let's reread the next sentence. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We do that every day to be a great collaborator, communicator, and creative and critical thinker. We do this by listening, writing, and drawing, asking and answering questions, making connections, and sharing our thinking. Make sure that you speak loudly and clearly for all to hear you. Use your mouth to speak and your ears to listen. That's what good communicators do. Now, let's continue rereading, starting with this transitional word. We're gonna be seeing four transitional words in the message today. Let's go ahead and review the names. First, next, then, last. Good writers can sequence their writing with first, next, then, and last. Good readers sequence stories and put the events in order as well using these words. Let's go ahead and review. First. First, we will review letters and sounds. Okay, just like we do every single day in kindergarten, we use the word, word wall as a resource to review the letters and sounds, pictures to match the word, and American Sign Language. Let's review the vowels. A, apple, a, e, ed, e, i, itch, i, O, octopus, a, and U, up, a. Uh. All right, so we are going to be seeing those short vowels those sounds in CVC words. Look what we're gonna be doing with CVC words. Let's read the next sentence. Say the word, next. Next, we will read and write simple CVC words. Okay, so we are gonna read and write simple CVC words. Let's go ahead and review some at this time. Look at this picture. I see sun, sun, sun. I wonder what's at the beginning, middle, and end of this word. Look at the next one. Oh, it's upside down. Ah! Bun, bun, bun. All right, look at the next one. Ready? Run, er, un, run. All right, we have a few more to review before we continue rereading. Do you know what this is? It's a cup, cup, up, cup. And let's review a couple of more. 
CVC words. Oh, look at this little guy. You see this little one here? It's a pup. 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 Oh, and I see this large boat. This is called a ship. 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 We're going to be writing simple CVC words today. Let's review one more. Look at this picture. I see er, it, rip. So we're going to be looking at the words and breaking it down for beginning, middle, and ending sound and writing the whole word. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this transitional word then. Then we will listen to a poem and locate known words. Okay, so we remember poetry can have a simile, rhythm, repetition, or it can have alliteration. We're gonna go ahead and revisit the April poem, and we're gonna go ahead and find some words that we know. April, April brings a rainstorms, big showers and little drops. It falls from the sky and goes plop, plop, plop. Rain makes big puddles, it is fun to stomp and splash. Black rain clouds are coming, thunder goes bang, crash. We're gonna reread this poem and find some words that we know and that we can read. All right, look at this now. This transitional word starts with an L, like L lamp, ul. Say it with me. Last. Last we'll do, we will research and write to teach others about a topic. Love, Miss Joyner. Oh, we will. We're going to research and write to teach others about a topic. We're going to look up information about the topic and practice doing that and see how good writers can look up information and focus on one topic and find a different bits and pieces about that topic to create a paper. All right, we are also gonna do literacy centers. You're gonna use your five senses to write a poem about spring, and you're gonna sound out different things here and draw your illustration above there. All right, we're also gonna do da 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 Lexia Core 5 reading program. It's gonna be a fantastic day. Get your fans ready. Fan. Fantastic. Or do you like question of yes or no answers is da da da. Do you like elephant and piggy? Well, do you? Think about your answer. Get ready to share why and be a great communicator.